Okay, it's finished. I did two thin coats on it and I found that because I had really washed my brush well, when I went to do the second coat I ended up with little bubbles appearing, which was from me, you know, rinsing the brush well. So all I did was just rub my finger over the bubbles, um, pressing them down as I dried it with the hair dryer. I want to neaten up the edge that's between the actual tin itself and the piece of cardboard that I put in it. So I went through my supplies and I thought, well, you know, I could, these colours are probably right. I could put ribbon around it. That would look all right. Uh, I found some tassels. I thought I could maybe hang some tassels off it and thought maybe that's a bit girly. Free on the internet, I've um, printed off uh, different words. I could put that, you know, on the side, like I'm thankful or Dad, you inspire me, that kind of thing. But none of those actually solved the issue on the top. Um, so I have this little stash. I come a little bit over so in here I keep um, like my raffia pieces and um, jute and upholstery thread anything that's usually in these neutral colors and is a little bit like that <laughs> my fingers uh, the pink is uh, the unknown quantity in there anyway I <laughs> I, I thought the string, the string's cheap, it's um, easy to manipulate and maybe I could put some of that around the top. And then I thought it doesn't actually match, so what can I do? So I'm going to cut off a, a little piece here and then inside this little fruit container I'm going to put a whole heap and I'll zoom in again on this so I'm going to put a whole heap of felt pen just scribble all over it get as much of the ink out of the felt pen as I can I could in fact pull it apart that's an option as well um, where was the other color I had a darker one here I'll scribble some of that in as well. So I'm just trying to get the ink out of the pen. I could actually demonstrate. Here we go. Um, if you want to actually get as much as possible, squeeze and pull. You can usually, it usually comes out, it's not coming out, use my pliers, pull, there it is. Okay, this is the little bit that has all the colour in it. Just chop it into a few pieces. And I'm going to add a little bit of water. So you can keep going with the, the felt pen idea or you can do it this way and if I get a pair of tweezers and pull one of these out you can see that as soon as the water hits it's actually leaching the colour out. So if I get my little pipette in here and put a few drops of water on the top it will help the colour run through. I don't know if you can see that well enough. But it's it's yeah taking all the colour. 
taking the color out. Oh, these pipettes you can um, usually buy in like the kitchen section of a cheap store. Different art stores have them. So I'll just squeeze out colour. So the other ones are still in there. I'm not going to worry about that. But what I wanted to show you was that I'm actually going to put the jute or the string into here because these are the colors these are the felt pens that we used for doing that so I can easily color them wonderful and now I can dry that Okay, if I'd left the string um, in the dye like overnight, it would be much more that colour. But I'm happy with um, the way it is. And all we want to do is just cover that edge. Now, um, the Sullivans, which I've used before, that um, dries really quickly. So I'm going to just take that off going to run a small bead of glue all the way around now the first end that I'm using I've actually frayed it just a little I'm going to put that on the top And very very carefully and of course this glue wants to stick to humans just as much as it wants to stick to everything else I'm going to run this around And I'm running it slightly on the outside edge because I want to do a second run and I'm going to twist that frayed um, beginning into it. I'm going to run a second layer and it is sticking to me. just to make sure that I've covered that edge that I felt was a little bit untidy. So this string you can usually purchase for just a few dollars. Um, there's not enough glue there. It's not sticking to me so it's not going to stick um, to our tin. So usually just a couple of dollars and sometimes it's a couple of dollars and you get more than one um, roll. Sticking it through, cutting it off, unfraying it a little bit and just, just tucking it in there. So I'm going to run my finger around. So I want that outside edge to be covered, which it is, but I also want that inside edge to be covered. Now, if I wanted to, what I could do is get a brush with some of this ink and you know just add a bit more color while the glue's still wet put a little bit on like that or remembering that the strings dry already 
other than where I just wet it. I could run the felt pen on it. And then if I wanted to, I could disperse that colour. So what I'm going to do is let this dry and then I'm going to coat this top, just the top, not the rest, with my um, PBA water mix. Just so that everything is sealed in really nicely. But basically, our pencil holder for Dad is finished. Unless, of course, you want to put um, some words. And you can put that on. Um, and you can keep decorating it as much as you like. But basically, we have finished. So I hope you give the project a go. Um, let me know if you enjoyed it. Bye for now.